Thank you, Lord. Man, it's a beautiful day. Family, if you um, want to read with me, I want to read in the book of 2 Peter. I want to read chapter 3. So 2 Peter chapter 3. The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own flesh, I mean after their own lust, I'm sorry, Verse 4, in saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word are kept in store, reserved into fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering towards usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works, all that are therein, shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Continuing on, family, in verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, see that ye look for such things. Be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. And account that long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, see and ye know these things before. Beware, lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. For grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. That's what's up, family. This warns us. You know, pay attention to what the old, what they were saying. I'm going to say it, and I'll say it forever, family, that there's nothing new under the sun. And you need to be aware that, you know, no, he, the rainbow, the covenant with God, was that he would never destroy the earth with water again. But he didn't promise fire. So, just saying, family, I love you guys, but be aware of the times we're living in. Later.